Welcome to our channel, Stormrider. In the ever-evolving world of naval technology, few ships capture the imagination quite like the USS Zumwalt, designated DDG-1000. As we move into 2026, the Zumwalt-class destroyer remains one of the most advanced and enigmatic warships ever built by the United States Navy. Named after Admiral Elmo Zumwalt, a visionary naval leader who pushed for modernization and innovation, this stealth destroyer represents a bold leap into the future of maritime warfare, designed not only for combat efficiency, but also to challenge the traditional ideas of what a destroyer can be. The USS Zumwalt stands as a floating testament to engineering excellence, futuristic design, and cutting-edge technology. From a distance, the Zumwalt doesn't even look like a conventional warship. Its unique angular shape, often described as alien or futuristic, is no accident. The ship's distinctive silhouette is designed using a concept known as a tumble-home hull, where the sides slope inward rather than outward. This innovative design drastically reduces its radar cross-section, making it appear on enemy radar like a small fishing vessel rather than a 600-foot warship. The stealth factor alone is a game-changer, allowing the Zumwalt to operate closer to hostile shores with minimal detection, giving the U.S. Navy a powerful advantage in modern maritime operations where invisibility is as valuable as firepower. Speaking of firepower, the Zumwalt doesn't disappoint. Originally designed to carry two advanced gun systems, AGS, each capable of firing long-range land attack projectiles over 60 miles, it was envisioned as the ultimate land attack destroyer. However, due to the high cost and eventual cancellation of the specialized ammunition, the Navy has shifted its focus to outfitting the Zumwalt with cutting-edge hypersonic missiles. As of 2026, the ship is undergoing a transformation to integrate the conventional prompt strike, CPS, system giving it the ability to launch hypersonic weapons that travel at speeds greater than Mach 5. This upgrade dramatically boosts its strike capability, turning the Zumwalt into a platform capable of delivering lightning-fast precision attacks on high-value targets anywhere in the world. Under the sleek hull, lies one of the most sophisticated propulsion systems ever fitted to a naval vessel. The Zumwalt uses an integrated power system, IPS, a fully electric drive that generates around 78 megawatts of power, enough to supply a small city. This system allows the ship to distribute energy efficiently between propulsion, onboard systems, and future weapons like lasers or electromagnetic railguns. The IPS isn't just about efficiency, it's about flexibility, in traditional ships, power is split between engines and systems, but in the Zumwalt, everything runs through a common electrical grid. This means the ship can redirect power instantly where it's needed most. Whether that's to propulsion for high-speed maneuvers or to energy-intensive weapons during combat. When it comes to performance, the Zumwalt is both powerful and surprisingly quiet. Its electric propulsion makes it far less noisy than conventional destroyers, an advantage in anti-submarine warfare where sound can mean survival. The ship's top speed reaches around 30 knots, and it can operate autonomously for extended periods, thanks to its advanced automation and reduced crew requirements. In fact, one of the key innovations of the Zumwalt is its crew size. While traditional destroyers require a crew of around 300, the Zumwalt operates effectively with only about 150 personnel. This is made possible through extensive automation and navigation, maintenance and weapons control, reducing manpower while increasing efficiency. Inside, the Zumwalt is as futuristic as its exterior suggests. The bridge resembles the cockpit of a spaceship more than a traditional naval ship, with large touchscreens, digital controls, and advanced situational awareness systems. The ship's combat management system integrates radar, sonar, and weapon systems into a single digital network, allowing operators to track multiple threats and respond in real time. The Zumwalt's radar system, the SPY-3 multifunction radar, provides exceptional detection and tracking capabilities, even in challenging environments like near coastal or cluttered electromagnetic zones. It's designed to support both air and surface warfare simultaneously, giving the Zumwalt unmatched situational dominance. One of the most impressive elements of the Zumwalt's design 
is its stealthy superstructure made from composite materials. These materials not only help reduce radar signature, but also cut down on weight and maintenance needs. Even the exhaust is cleverly managed. The ZoomWaltz exhaust system cools its heat emissions before release, minimizing its infrared signature and making it harder for thermal sensors to detect. Combined with its sleek wave-piercing hull, the ship glides through water more efficiently, offering improved fuel economy and stability in rough seas. While much of the focus tends to be on the ship's offensive capabilities, the ZoomWalt also boasts robust defensive systems. It's equipped with advanced decoy launchers, close-in weapon systems for last resort defense against incoming missiles, and electronic warfare suites capable of jamming or deceiving enemy sensors. This multi-layered defense architecture ensures that the ZoomWalt is not only a deadly attacker, but also a difficult target. Its mission versatility makes it adaptable for roles ranging from land attack and anti-air warfare to anti-submarine missions and maritime security operations. As the U.S. Navy looks ahead, the ZoomWalt class is evolving beyond its original concept. The 2026 iteration of the USS ZoomWalt and its sister ships, the USS Michael Monsoor and USS Lyndon B. Johnson, are becoming experimental platforms for the Navy's next generation weapon systems. Hypersonic missiles are just the beginning. There are ongoing discussions about integrating directed energy weapons like high-power lasers, capable of neutralizing drones or incoming missiles. With its enormous electrical output, the ZoomWalt is uniquely positioned to power such advanced systems, making it a bridge between today's destroyers and the warships of tomorrow. Of course, the ZoomWalt program has not been without controversy. Its high cost, over $4 billion per ship, and limited production run have raised questions about value and practicality. Originally, the Navy planned to build 32 ZoomWalt-class destroyers, but that number was reduced to just three due to escalating costs and shifting priorities. Despite this, the lessons learned from the ZoomWalt's development are influencing future ship designs, especially the upcoming DDGX program, which aims to combine the best features of the ZoomWalt with the proven systems of the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers. In this sense, the ZoomWalt serves not just as a combat vessel, but as a technological testbed for future naval innovation. In 2026, the USS ZoomWalt stands at a crossroads, part operational destroyer, part experimental platform, and part symbol of what's possible when imagination meets engineering. Whether it's stealth that lets it slip undetected through hostile waters, immense power reserves that promise the integration of next-generation weapons, or the sheer audacity of its design, the ZoomWalt represents the cutting edge of naval warfare. It's a ship built not just for today's battles, but for tomorrow's challenges, combining stealth, speed, and technology in a way that redefines what a destroyer can be. For both military analysts and casual observers, the ZoomWalt remains a fascinating glimpse into the future of naval dominance, a powerful reminder that the oceans of the 21st century will be ruled not just by brute strength, but by innovation, adaptability, and the relentless pursuit of technological superiority.